गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट माई सेल्फ चेतन गुप्ता सी एस सी डिपार्टमेंट एस आई आर टी एस द सेज ग्रुप टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न न्यू प्रोग्राम ऑफ इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ लोकल एंड ग्लोबल वेरिएबल सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर प्रोग्राम बाय इंक्लूडिंग हाइड्रो फाइल्स so first of all i included one header files that is iostream.h for that i write hash include iostream.h now i am going to add one more header file that is konio.h so i again included Conio dot h. Now these both two, I stream dot h and Conio dot h are the header files. So we are using the concept of object oriented programming. That's why we first create a class. Suppose we create a class test. As we have already discussed, the class and object program in the previous lecture. so today we are going to learn about the local and global variable so for that i create a class test test is a name of a class now we body open the body of a class in public section i take two variables suppose that int a comma b so a and b are the two variables here to understand the concept of local and global variable we are going to create a program for swapping of two numbers so for that i take two global variable that is a and b here i create a method name get that data here i created a method called get data now open the body of a method of get data inside that body i pass a message enter the values of a and b so a and b are the variable initially they contain garbage value so i am giving one message to the user so that he will enter the values of a and b now we are taking the values of a and b by using cin and after that we are printing the values a and b that is before swapping a equal to and we are going to print the value of a and we are going to print the values of b equal to and we pass the value of b after that we are going to close this now we create another method void show data inside that method we create one local variable that is int c with the help of c we are going to swap the values of a and b right now c is empty so that we are going to transfer the value of a into c so c can can hold the values of a now in a we are going to transfer the value of b so right now a contain the value of b and in b we are going to transfer the 
values of C. So by using this concept, we basically transfer the values of, or we can say that we swap the values of A and B. Right now, these three statement can transfer or swap the values of A to B and variable B value to A. Now we are going to print the statement again. So I'm copying this line. And we are going to paste it. And we just change one sentence. So instead of before swapping, we are going to say after swapping. After that, we are going to close this method. Now, this is the termination of a class. We all know, already know that class is always terminate with semicolon. Now we are going to create main method. So wide main. Inside that we are going to call one method that is CLR SCR for clear the screen. Now we are going to create the object of test class. So test T1 here T1 is the object of a class. Now T1 dot get data get data is a method which can take the values of A and B from the user and also print the values of A and B and show data is a method which can contain a local variable that is C with the help of this we are going to transfer the values of a and b so here is the program now we are going top of the program so hash include as stream dot h are the two header files now we are going to create a class that is test now we open the body of a class in public section we are going to take two global variable that is a and b now we are going to create a method called get data in get data we are taking the values of a and b for that we print one statement that is enter the values of a and b user can enter the values of a and b after that uh, we print one statement that before swapping the values of a and b and we create another method that is show data inside that method we are taking one another variable that is int c and with the help of int c we are going to swap the values of a and b and here in that method we are again printing the values of a and b after swapping in main method we are going to create one object suppose t1 and we are by this statement we are going to call the method of our class so t1 dot get data and t1 dot show data right now we are going to compile this program so the program is successfully compiled there is no warning and there is no error and for changing the line i am going to insert the slash n in the c out statement so that now i'm again compiling and i'm going to run this program so the first statement of the C out that is enter the values of A and B. Suppose we are going to insert the first value that is 10 and we are going to insert the second value that is 20. So 10 is the values of A and 20 is the values of B. So as we have seen in the result that before swapping the values of A is 10 and the values of B is 20 and after swapping the values of a is 20 and the values of b is 10 so here we create a program for swapping of values of two variable by using third variable here we are going to use the concept of global variable and local variable so a and b are the global variable 
and this int c is a local variable why because we create or we declare this variable inside this function so with the